In this video, I want to talk about learning to code and how many classes should you take on sites like Udemy or Coursera? When do you know when you should stop or move on or at least change your learning strategy? If this is something that interests you, stick around and watch the whole video. Also, if you're new to this channel, my name is Paul and I talk about switching careers into web development late in life. So if this is something that interests you, consider subscribing. So before I talk about my thoughts, if you have bought courses on Udemy or Coursera or whatever, if you haven't watched my Udemy course video, check it out because there I show you my library and I have hundreds of classes on Udemy that I did not complete. I didn't finish them till the end. and. That seems to be a pattern with a lot of people. They just jump from one course to a newer course to a newer course and never finish. And that's a problem because what happens, you keep thinking that the solution to your education is the newest, greatest course ever. Brad Travesty just released another course and I bought it. It was only $9.99 if you get his special. It's on the Mern stack building an e-commerce store. If you Google his video, you might get the coupon and if you want to get it, you get it. But the point is, I bought the course and I know that I'm not going to do it if ever. And I'm not telling you this because, I'm, you know, for any reason except that I want to be honest with you. There, I have probably 3% of courses I completed on Udemy and the other 97% of courses I didn't finish, I didn't even touch. And it seems that it's an addiction of buying courses because we feel the more courses we have, the closer we are to achieving our goal. So what I would tell you in this video, if you haven't completed a single course to completion and then build a project based on the knowledge that you learn, you're following a wrong strategy. It'll be very difficult for you to learn. So what I would recommend is if you're looking to get into web development, you don't need a thousand courses. You just need to learn the basics. In my case, I chose to focus on React with JavaScript. So my path and the courses that I took and eventually finished to completion when I decided to stop jumping around was I took a basic HTML and CSS course then after that I took a basic JavaScript course to learn the language the syntax how to manipulate the DOM and then I took a course on react and the fourth course that I would recommend if you're just starting out is take something to learn about a database it, and I would recommend something that deals with uh, SQL database because when I got my job where I work that's the database we use and after talking to a lot of people it is a lot more commonly to see people using SQL databases although there's a bunch of different ones MongoDB is another one of my favorites but that's not what I work with at work but besides the point the point here is that after you complete the three courses you you don't need to take more courses. I'm going to tell you right now, most of the courses that I have, they're basically repeating the same information that I already learned. And what happens is we only have so much time in the day. And if you imagine that some courses take 12 hours, some, and that's just the video included in it, some courses are 20 hours, that's a lot of time. And so by doing these tutorials that basically teach the same thing, the basics of React, the basics of JavaScript, the basics of HTML and CSS, and what you're doing, you're just repeating the information you know. Granted, at the beginning, it helps to repeat the information so it's still in your head but ultimately they're teaching you the same things the problem lies not in the classes or the courses you're taking the problem lies that you are not finishing maybe the course that you started and when you are finishing you're not looking to build a project so what I would recommend for you guys is to do in a bare minimum three classes from start to finish and stop if you're looking to get into web development and you're looking to take the React and JavaScript route. Take one course for HTML and CSS, take one course in JavaScript, and take one course in React. And then after that, you have to start building things. You could use your videos from the course as reference, but even better, just Google and try to find a solution on your own. The point in my development journey where I am, taking new classes, believe it or not, is a waste of time because 80% of the material that is presented in those courses I already know 
and a lot of the stuff that I'm missing is something that I have to find out myself through experience. There are advanced classes, um, but they're very far and few in between and they cover a very specific range. But when you're working on your own personal project, you basically learn things by researching them through reading articles on sites like dev.io, I think that's what it is, or going on Stack Overflow, or Googling stuff and reading documentation. You literally learn the best through trial and error. And that is why I tell you when you took a couple, like three or four good courses, online, there's no reason to spend time doing more. It will be a waste of time. It's much easier to just look up the information that you're missing through those blogs or other sources that I just mentioned and get back into coding. So you should always be building. The biggest thing that people do, the biggest mistake is that they want to do everything else except coding. It's like, you know, they have a dream. They get excited about learning to code. Well, the dream will get you started. That excitement will get you started, but it is your work sitting in front of the computer, literally, and coding is what gets you ahead and I have that's hilarious I have my window open here with the Mern stack that Travis T media is going to teach I'm like and look I have my <laughs> my uh, Udemy open here as well I have bajillion courses um, yeah look so I bought two courses today uh, Python and Django why I have no idea and then I bought Brad Travesty e-commerce from scratch learn the burn stack but the point is that's not what that's the most important the most important part is that look if I click here I am in my this is open here 24 7 why because I'm working on my portfolio 24 7 I have my app running here like if I go online and click here this is the app that I'm building we have like the dashboard you're probably not gonna see it um, I have bugs uh, that will load eventually that I'm working on to resolve but the point is it's like you have to spend time working on your app and struggling through the problems so the Udemy courses Coursera courses only gonna get you as far as they can for beginner introduction level but afterwards you have to use your resources online and you have to spend time building stuff so yes it works I you know it's so funny I created this app and I'm like I need to keep track of bugs and so I added that feature in my app to be able to know what bugs they have I only have four right now but that's not true I have like bajillion I think this app has more bugs than features implemented so far but that's besides the point the point is that you guys have to be building and you guys have to be putting in the work it is a grind to get good at development in this video if you take away one thing one point is if you're just starting out take three to four courses at most but after that you have to be putting in the work building something and if you feel like you can't build something after taking those four courses it's not that you can't it's that you haven't tried and because you just starting out is gonna be hard. That's the whole point. And that's why you have to go to Google Stack Overflow and look for the solutions. So that's what I wanted to tell you in this video. The most important thing that makes or breaks a developer is not the courses they buy or the courses that do, but it's the projects they build. So if you're not coding every day on your own portfolio, on your own project, I take courses too. But everything I learn in the courses, I learn, see, how could I apply it to my project? And you should be committing that code to GitHub. So recently I just started back up redoing my portfolio so if you do go to my github you'll see that every day i have a commit and so that's the tip for you guys build things do not stop building and coding it's like if i want to get better at push-ups i don't read books about push-ups i don't you know watch youtube videos about the push-ups i will actually do push-ups and that is the truth there is no secret that is the way to do it sure there are like efficient ways to study whatever but it's such a small difference because the work really happens in your actual coding and in your actual failing and troubleshooting and a bonus tip for you guys here this is something i'm going to tell you so at my job very rarely do you write code from scratch a lot of times what you're doing is you're looking at somebody else's code that they wrote trying to understand it make sense of it and then make changes within that code so if you want to do something to help you get better at programming and becoming a better development look up some of these libraries available like material ui because you could see their source code and just go through it and see if you could make sense of it start reading other people's code and see if you could understand it so with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed that video again if you're switching careers late in life and you're looking to get into web development consider subscribing if you're not in that point and just enjoy the content that I create and would like to support the channel subscribe like and share but anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time